In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Creator God, enriched with your Spirit, alive in all, we humbly come before you to offer prayers and thanks and to ask for your ongoing guidance in our lives. We are gathered here today in Emmanuel Cathedral to offer prayers at the shrine of our bishop, friend and brother, Dennis Hurley, who died 17 years ago on the 13th of February, 2004. Though we are only few here present, we know that we are joined by many more across South Africa and around the world who are praying with us at this time. And though we stand at the shrine of Archbishop Hurley, we call to mind many sisters and brothers who have lost their lives in the past 12 months during this time of pandemic. Our reading is taken from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, verses 25 to 29. I became a servant of the church when God made me responsible for delivering God's message to you. This message was a mystery hidden for generations and has now been revealed. It was God's purpose to show all the rich glory of this mystery. The mystery is Christ among you, your hope of glory. This is the Christ we proclaim. This is the wisdom in which we train everyone thoroughly and instruct everyone to make them all perfect in Christ. It is for this that I struggle wearily, helped only by God's power, driving me irresistibly on. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Loving God, we thank you for the life of Archbishop Harry, who served this country and your church with such a dedication. We thank you for his vision of a better world, for his work for justice, for his commitment, for the upliftment of your people. We are grateful that he was not afraid to stand up for the truth and for liberation. We pray that we may be inspired by his compassionate care for all people. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Merciful God, at this time of suffering and mourning, we pray for all who have died in this past year, many of them afflicted by the coronavirus. We remember especially those connected with the cathedral and with the Dennis Hurley Centre, naming in particular Archbishop Abel Gabuza, buried here, Monsignor Paul Nadal, Father John Patterson, Pinkim Charlie, and Marushka Ganga. And we give thanks for the generosity of Paddy Carney and all our deceased benefactors. May their souls rest in eternal peace. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Healing God, we pray for everyone throughout the world, and especially here in South Africa, suffering because of COVID-19. The sick, the bereaved, the unemployed, the lonely, the, the anxious, those who are afraid. We pray for all medical workers at the front line who are risking their lives in order to save lives. And pray that all in need will soon receive an effective vaccine and we will see an end to this pandemic. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Hearing God, we give thanks for the dedicated work of the staff and volunteers of the Dennis Hurley Center. 
a living legacy to our beloved Archbishop. In so many ways, they reach out to serve the poor, the homeless, the sick, the migrant, and all who have come seeking help. We give thanks furthermore for all access across our city who have been given, who have given help during this unsettling time of COVID, housing the homeless, providing food to those in need, caring for the sick, protecting the vulnerable. We give thanks for the way in which people of all faiths have worked together, and we pray for the spirit of diaconia in bringing together all who seek to build your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us all now say together the prayer prescribed for use in honor of Archbishop Dennis Haley. Loving Father, we thank you for the life, vocation, and ministry of your servant, Dennis Hurley, our bishop, brother, and friend in Christ. Baba Tandegayo, Siabonga and Gempilo, Ubizo, Nogus Nigela, Quesiconzi Sako, U Dennis Hurley, Um Bishop Iwetu, Um Fowetu, Nomgani Wetu, Gu Christo. We pray that his work for justice and peace, his loving care for the poor and marginalized, and his vision for a reformed and renewed church may continue to inspire us with increased vigor. Si kulegela uguti umsebenzi wake, wobulungiswa notolo, Utando lwake lugunagegela abashupegayo nabazindezelegile. Nesifiso sake sogu kukuga, nogu fuseleleka kwe banda. Sengati kungakubega kusifukuzele, goguti kunezeleleke ugu kutala. Grant that the gift of the Spirit may enable us to act in harmony to establish your kingdom in our lives, our work, and our world, as we strive to follow Haley's motto, where the Spirit is, there is freedom. Yenza uguba isipo somoya sisi vumele, uguti sikwazi ugusebenzi sana, Sake umbuso wako ezimbilo enizetu, emsebenzini wetu, na semshaveni wetu. Jengoba si zabalaza, silandela, isikubulo, siga tenis heli esiti. La umoya ukona, kukona inkululeko. Listen kindly to the intercession of your servant Dennis on our behalf and grant us the favor of his patronage in your kingdom. La lela ngomusa umkulumeli wetu isikonzi sako udenis kuti ngogusegwa uyena ubenesihe nati embusweni wako. We pray, we pray that, that in Christ, Christ your Son, all may be sanctified, all may be one. Amen. Sia kulega uguti ku Christo indota na yako, songe singweli swe sibe munye. Amen. Let us pray. Creator God, empower us to be your voice your hands and your feet, as we strive to be a reflection of you and signs of hope in these troubled times. Bless our efforts and give us all the graces we need. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.